In this video, I will show you the new version 7 milling features and 3D simulation tool. First, I'm going to turn off part shading. This is because version 7's CAD module starts out in 2D, and part shading wouldn't accurately show a 2.5D part yet. I've already put together a drawing for a mounting bracket, so I'll click open and navigate to it. All of this part's geometry is already complete. However, there isn't any height information yet. To assign height to features, I'll click on the Z tool. A 3D model of the part will be generated on the left-hand side of the screen. I can rotate the view by holding the middle mouse button and dragging. I can pan by holding the right mouse button. Without any height information, I've gotten a pretty strange looking part. First, I'll select the outermost geometry and enter in an offset of a quarter inch. Then I'll hit the green check mark to confirm. Next, I'll select this feature. I want it to sit at 3 eighths of an inch above the bottom. Because this number is typically an offset, I'll toggle Is Absolute on. Now I'll set this circle's height. You may have noticed that I can select features in either the CAD drawing panel or the Z tool panel. I want this to sit an eighth inch below the surrounding material. I could set it at a quarter inch absolute, but in this case, I'll set it at a negative offset. I chose to use an offset in case my design changes. For example, if I change the other feature to sit at half an inch absolute, the inner circle stays an eighth inch down. Finally, I'll select all my holes. I can select multiple features by holding down the control key as I click. Once selected, I'll set these to an absolute height of zero. All of the height information is complete, so I'll push the part into the cam module. First, I'll open the project settings and enter my material size. Let's say I have a 6 inch square by 1.5 inch tall block. I'll click the check to accept. I also want to include several tabs, so I'll click this button, define the number and width of tabs to add, and click the check mark. Now I'll assign one of my tools to the rough pass operation. First, I'll click the operation to select it. I'll select my quarter inch flat end mill, change the parameters to fit my desired speeds and number of passes, and hit the check. I'll do the same for the finishing operation, but this time with an eighth inch end mill. Once again, I input my cut parameters and click the check mark. The toolpath will be generated. I'll open the 3D simulation. This feature will allow me to run a cut simulation to ensure that my part is machined as expected. I'll run a high accuracy, slow speed simulation of this program. Once I've verified that the program will run smoothly, I'll send the part into the CNC module where the G code will be generated and the program ready to run. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any further questions or visit us online at flashcutcnc.com.